Today's episode starts in an unlikely place. Normally I start off every episode at my base, but today I thought it would be a good idea to show you exactly what I've been doing. And while I, strictly speaking, keep all grinding off camera, look at this. I have to... to show you. <laughs> so I've got a shulker full of gravel, a shulker full of gravel and quartz, gravel, Quartz. Now these are all blocks of quartz and then these are all stacks. Sand and gravel, sand. That took a really long time to acquire and most of this will be heading into stock in my traveling shop. I'm getting rather fond of making money now. It's actually really useful, but especially with my rocket habits of just using as many as possible. And I've also made so much progress on the base that I'm starting to really run out of resources again. Here we are back in the shopping district and there's the traveling cart. Uh, I'm gonna restock and see if we've made any more cash. I am chock full of stuff right now. Huh, oh, looks pretty good. Except, except where's he gone? Where's the old man? Is this a bug? It can't, this isn't just a bug. He's, has someone stolen old man Grian? The fish head Grian? Just his walking stick. Maybe I should put a missing persons like thing up here. Cleo did such a good job on putting these items up here. And it's gone. The old man is, is, is he's totally gone. Oh dear. Anyway, have we made any money? Not from the sand. Can thankfully refill all of that and gravel. Oh, yeah, gravel seems to be much more popular. How many is that? Ten diamonds, not bad. I actually have a fish head back at my base, so I'm definitely going to make a missing po person's poster. Where the heck has he gone? And also, I saw earlier today as I was mulling about, I saw a little something over on that hill. Now, I don't know if he already belongs to someone, but I haven't seen one in ages. There he is, the Skelebone horse, the skeleton horse himself. I don't actually know. I think like a, a lightning bolt has to hit a horse maybe for this to happen, but I I want it. So I've asked someone for a saddle and they thankfully gave it to me. Jevin, thank you very much for my saddle. And no one's claimed him. He doesn't have a saddle. Someone sat on him enough, so, so he's obviously been found before. Look, he doesn't kick me off when I sit on him. But if I put this on, does this mean I can... Yes! I... Does this mean he's mine? No one seems to have claimed him. No one's given him a name tag. Can I keep him? Can I? Can I Can I keep him, please? Oh, this is brilliant. Even though I fly everywhere, there's nothing wrong with a pet horse. So now we just have to come up with a name for him. Now, I don't have a name tag on me, nor do I know how I'm going to get him across the water. Can I put him in a boat, maybe? I'm sure we can put him in a boat. Oh, but before we go, the other thing was that I wanted to do, should have done this perhaps first. Since sand isn't as popular at all, I think what we're gonna do is replace this sand with quartz, or at least some of it with quartz. It's still the same price, one diamond equals two stacks. That is 16 blocks right there, so two, one diamond equals 32 blocks, and that's cheaper than next door. I'm straight up undercutting this guy who is selling one diamond for 64 quartz. So I'm selling double that, and that's pretty good, I think. And now we just need to figure out how to get this little guy back to the base. I'm thinking we have to use a boat, but I don't even know if that works. If not, we're going to have to make a very long little trail to get him over to the base. But then, if he's at the base, I can't really use him. Hmm. We'll have to think about this. Let's see if we can push him into the boat. I don't- I honestly have no idea if this works. I've never got a horse before. Does it work? Does he go in? Does he- He sinks? What? <laughs> that can't be right. Oh, he's just gonna drown, isn't he? Does he get affected by the conduit power, maybe? How do I get him in the boat? He sinks like a stone. I'm basically not going to be using this horse. I'm going to just... I was going to keep him as a pet. 
I was going to call him Jack Skellington or something, and I was going to keep him as a pet. But I can't see a way how to get him to my base. But he does sink like a stone and doesn't kick me out. So I'm wondering if the conduit power will keep this guy alive as well if I'm fast enough. Maybe I shouldn't have named him. All right, let's go for it. Let's just see if he doesn't drown. Let's go. Down we go. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> is he gonna make it? Oh no, the bubbles, the bubbles taking it down. The <laughs> Conduit power. Does it work on horses? Do I have myself an underwater horse? Oh, this is, this is fantastic. I never thought of this at all. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is the silliest submarine I think I've ever seen. It seems like the conduit power affects him as well, but I don't know if he actually does drown anyway, so we could be in luck here. We could be totally in luck. Tell you what, if I put him, if I put him inside here, I don't know how skeleton horses work, but this is hilarious. I assume he doesn't drown because he doesn't have lungs. He doesn't kick me off in the water, so this is an aquatic horse. He even jumps? Not well, kind of jumps. Does he get affected by the bubbles? Do we both go through? No, 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 no! No, 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 free him, free him! No! Enough, 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 enough! No! No! <laughs> Jack Skellibone! I, I was so close! Oh no! Oh how how distraught did I I even I got my saddle back. Oh no! Why did he drown? I thought he was getting stuck in the blocks, but I don't. Ah, oh, maybe I just wasn't quick enough. I don't really know what to do with myself now. Oh, we were gonna make the missing person sign because my old man's gone missing, and hold on. Where's Paul? Where on earth has Paul gone? Someone must have taken him. In my, like, weeks of being friends with Paul, he hasn't once got out of the aquarium. Not once. This is devastating. I've lost everyone. I've lost the old man. I've lost Pufferfish Paul. I've just lost my new friend Jack Skellibone. Oh, I feel so bad. Ev <laughs> everyone I love leaves me. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? We have not had a good start to this episode. Anyway, I think we should just continue with building the base because I've made, well, I've made a profit, but I've also made a really decent amount of progress as well. So last episode, we actually completed this first layer. Now people are saying it looks like a coffee cup, it looks like a blender, whatever. I know it doesn't really look like much yet, but that's because it hasn't reached its full potential. What I've also done in the meantime is I've started working on this outer layer. Down here is going to be a pretty cool looking uh, aquarium and all sorts of things. I've even used pickles around the edge to try and light it up, but down there is going to be a really cool coral reef. This took a lot of resources. All of these resources were supposed to go up there, but they didn't. Not yet. I need to f sort out this bottom bit to give it a bit more leverage, but I have indeed started working on the top. There's a giant... Oh no. <laughs> What's going on here? Who's done this? Whoever's done this? Look, I started making some glass stuff here. I hope they haven't removed my... Okay, they haven't done any damage to my glass work. But there's no way this is staying here. This has got to go. This has all got to go. Oh, how annoying. This has all got to go. So, did they build this by hand? Because there's no way you can spawn a tree that big. What is this for? Your flower pot was looking a bit empty. Oh, right. Okay, I get it. So you think that my base looks like a flower pot. So a coffee cup? I can understand. But a flower pot? Come on. Doesn't look like a flower pot. Although it is looking pretty cool, I gotta admit. Right, what's this about then? So I heard that you cannot afford logs at the moment. Oh no. <laughs> Not a problem. 
This giant spruce tree is a gift from you from Big Logs Inc. I'll even help you chop it down. Details inside. Ren Dog. So this is me getting my comeuppance for the under my part in the undercut scenario. I probably should give a little bit of backstory before I go inside here. So I I now understand why this has taken place. What an, an elaborate reaction. Okay, so let's go over to the shopping district and find out what this is all about. This is Rendog's shop, Logs Inc. And a few episodes ago, I needed some logs, but I didn't want to pay the price that he was going. So what I did was I went to Cub Fan's tree farm and tried to steal. Uh, but I got caught in the act and in return, I built this. This axe in the middle of his shop. It's called Undercut. So in reaction to making this, he's gone and made a giant tree. <laughs> He must have spent a long time, and now that he's done that, it really does look like a flower pot. But don't worry, we were working on it, I promise. <laughs> right, let's go and have a look inside. And let's destroy some of this while we're here as well. Okay. Run. Oh, no, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, no. There it goes. Oh. <laughs> At least I don't have to clean that up and I get a decent amount of wood out of this It's more of a gift more than anything. Oh My goodness is that gonna decay? No, it's not That's not gonna decay at all That was because he's placed this by hand. He spent ages making a giant minecraft tree. That's not going anywhere That's not gonna decay at all Oh, Jeez I think I have the solution to this problem though. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to, <laughs> we're gonna go up to this bit here and we're gonna set it on fire. We don't want this giant leaf monstrosity here. Burn, burn, tree, burn. Ow, don't burn yourself. Burn, burn the leaves all down. Flower pot. I won't stand for, Oh, there's no fire spread on this server, is there? There's no fire spread to protect everyone's buildings. I do have to destroy this manually. Oh my goodness. I've just made it a hell zone now. I've just made this even more dangerous for me. Let's try again. So fire's not gonna cut it. We're gonna have to cut it by hand with shears. How annoying is this? It won't take too long to clear because shears are very, very fast. He could have at least put TNT in the leaves. You know what, next time, I'm just gonna buy the logs. At least, maybe when I need leaves, maybe one day I'll have a bunch, but man oh man. And we're done. Look at all these leaves on the ground. That was a waste of iron and my time. Oh, of course I left a bit up there. You've got to commend Rendog on his valiant effort put in here. He didn't really have to terrain all of this with leaves, uh, with grass and dirt, and e e even long grass. He didn't need to do this, but he did. He spent a lot of time terraining the top of this to make it look more like a flower pot so that he could make this gigantic tree. Unbelievable. Let's see if I can do the flyby and get this bit of leaf. My flying skills has improved. Yes! Oh, look at that! Skillfully done! Fortunately, I have a super shovel, so this isn't going to take any time at all. Did I just hear death? Yes, I did! Yes, I did! Where's my sword when you need it? Oh, I clearly haven't slept in a while. Oh, they're here. They're still flying about. Oh, I got him! I'm pretty sure I got him. I did! I got the XP! Oh, was... <laughs> X-E-I Zuma has just arrived and he's asking what's going on. Ren dog happened. Ren dog happened. That's that's what happened. I'm curious to see just how crazy saying Zuma's name is gonna get. 
Right, the cleanup operation continues. This shouldn't take too long, and then we can get back to building this thing. Do you know what's funny is that one day, this area might actually be some kind of nature reserve or some kind of biome inside of the, the glass shell, but there's no way I can, I can build in here with all of this stuff still here. So maybe one day all of this stuff will end up back and it will look like a flower pot, but not today. We did actually get a decent amount of resources out of this. I just wasn't quite prepared for how much cleanup there was going to be. Oh, wait, there's a chest here. Dearest Grian, I hope this prank wasn't too taxing. For oh, no, it wasn't too axing on you. Oh, come on. Enjoy your pile of charcoal, Rendog. Nice giant axe, bro. Right, so I was correct. He was getting me back for the giant axe, but at least he complimented it. <sighs> it seems like this is a season full of puns. It's finally fixed. Look at this mess. Look how many blocks. I am lagging because of this. I need to clean this up ASAP. And it's finally all collected. This is how many bits of resources Rendog put into this, excluding all the stuff that blew up. Look at this, and then there was loads of stacks of leaves involved. Like, he must have spent a long time on it, so I can't even be mad. I mean, I'm a prankster myself, that was a pretty dedicated prank, he must have spent a long time on it. And it turns out that Rendog was actually stalking me with his camera account. He wanted to see me set it off for his own video, right? So that means he saw me take the horse underwater and then watched it drown. Oh, how awful. Uh. Anyway, with that out of the way, finally, that was a bit of a detour from what I was expecting. I can continue with this. And we're basically going to be replicating a lot of what was done on this first layer onto here. However, it doesn't seem quite right yet. I'm wondering if it needs a little bit of a base layer here. So maybe we need like a white concrete layer before it just sets off in the air. I'm thinking that's probably a good idea, but it wouldn't hurt too much to make at least the first bit here out of glass. We can always make it taller if we want. Getting the shape on this one is going to be extremely, extremely difficult. And it's going to take a lot of time, but oh boy, does it look pretty decent at the moment. It is not doing too badly. After giving it a lot of thought and that prank that he's done, I'm in no position to retaliate at all. Now, those of you that know me from my other series, I actually am a little bit of a prankster myself. But I usually rely on more resources than I have now. I still feel like I'm getting started. I have no mob farm. I have no way of getting myself TNT. There's no shop for it. I'm not ready. But I don't think I can just let it slide. It's completely okay for someone to go ahead and prank me. They're completely within their right. And I don't want to see anybody getting angry at anybody. But I just want you to be aware that... You know that you don't get away with it. You don't get to prank me and get away with it. So I've made this little room under here. We're going to transform this little area into a secret bunker of some kind. And this is where the list is going to be. Every time we have to come down here and add someone to the list, I'm going to make this a little bit spookier. So, Ren, you are officially on the list, okay? You are officially on the list. I'm going to have to develop this a little bit later on, but this is going to be my secret room, just so I remember. Actually, I should remind myself why. Ren, for the giant tree, and my base is not a pot, hopefully that will remind me what it is, because it might be that in a few months' time, I come and have a look at the list and see who needs pranking, and I won't remember why, and that's no good. So, he's officially on the list. So nobody tell him that he's on the list. Nobody let him know. But one day, we'll get him back, and we'll remind him why. But for now, that'll be our little secret, okay? Now, I've made quite a decent amount of progress just in placing blocks and stuff. It's actually time to start placing in where we think the towers are going to be, and it's going to be a very difficult thing to place. You see where the cyan blocks are? Well, I can't do that if I don't know where the towers are going to be in the long run. I'd end up doing work that I didn't have to do. Now, there's a little bit of an issue that this is, well, it's not exactly a third, but this is as close to a third as I'm comfortable making at an angle. 
So this is what I'm going to go for. The only problem is if I make a tower at this angle, it might look really, really strange. It also might not, and it also could look really cool. So I'm going to plan out where this is going to be, but the difference is I'm going to make it entirely out of this white concrete powder, and then I'm going to pour water on it later on. But that's going to be something that I'm working on in the background, maybe next episode. I feel like I've done an awful lot of progress to the base, and it's really starting to not look like a blender, everybody. It's not a potted plant, it's not a coffee cup, and it's definitely not a blender. Although it <laughs> actually, now that I look at it, it does look like a blender. Especially with this cross thing in the middle. This straight up looks like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll concede that one. Also, some Something I've been working on is down here, this is where the coral reef is going to be. Now I've been slowly placing some cobblestone here, I was trialing it anyway, where I'm going to place the cobblestone rather here and there, higgledy piggledy everywhere, and that's where the sand is then going to go on. And then hopefully from the outside, you'll be able to see in. You can see that I made a layer down here before I realized that the coral reef won't be visible at all. So this is another project that I'm going to have to burn in the background, slowly adding in all of this coral. So this is very much an artificial reef that's going to go in here, but it's going to add a huge amount of color and light, I hope. Even though you have to look through the glass, which can be a bit dulling to the, the mind. Look, you mean, if you can see the base around the outside, it is very dull. I have a feeling this is where I'm going to regret selling all of that cobblestone, come to think of it. I'm sure I've got more than enough to be getting on with, but this is going to require quite a lot of resources. So anyway, you get the idea, we're going to be creating an artificial reef here. We're actually going to be covering up a lot of the previous work that we did here by making this coral reef. So anyway, this is just a small section that I've covered with sand, and eventually this is going to be something really, really decorative. And then from the outside, we'll be able to look down, well, once the pickles are added and stuff, we'll be able to look down and see a bunch of colour in there. And hey, wait, is that... No, that's not Paul. There's another fish in here. How on earth did you get in there? And what have you done with Paul? Okay, well, Paul's been missing for a while now, as we know from earlier. He, the only way that this fish could have got in there, basically down here, there's little schools of fish. I wonder if there's any other about that. Of course, there's none there when I need to show you, but fish spawn here. They hit this, they get sent up, and then they flop around here. Now, normally they end up just flopping around here until they die, but this one flopped all the way over here and got in the tank. But if I just leave him there, he's going to despawn. You clever boy. We're gonna- we're gonna take you. We're gonna take you, and we're gonna name you. I don't want you to replace Paul. <laughs> and I'm gonna call you Codswallop. I- I like that. It's a funny word. And here we have Codswallop. Wait. It- Where'd he go? No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why does everything I love... Oh. Oh, Codswallop. I saved you. Oh, my goodness. Never do that again. Right, we're going to place you down here now. And now I've made a mess in my base. Oh, this is... This is a disaster. He spawned on the top. Wait, where is he? No, Codswallop. You are a nightmare fish, I tell you. <sighs> okay, I saved it. Right, you are officially the fish that lived, okay? Oh my goodness, everything seems to just perish before me. Okay, Codswallop, you stay there. And hopefully, you're no replacement of Paul, but you chose this life, not me. Paul didn't choose the life of the aquarium, at least you did. Speaking of which, we actually need to go and put up some missing signs because I don't know how it would be possible. He must have fallen out and died, but maybe someone actually took him. Maybe someone took Paul. Where did I get a golden apple from? So we need to go and make a few missing signs. So I put up a missing person's sign saying, Have you seen this old man? If found, please contact immediately. His family miss him. And hopefully they understand who I'm talking about exactly. Because this armor stand went missing. It's so sad to see this walking cane just standing there by himself or sitting there. 
with no one to hold it. This this is so upsetting. Have you seen this puffer fish? And then I've put Paul in there. Hopefully they know who Paul belongs to, maybe not. If found, please return to Grian's aquarium. So I've just got to put up a few of these to make sure that people see them. Uh, preferably in places where people are walking around quite a lot. So maybe one over here. And everyone goes into the fireworks shop. So this is a great place to put it. Okay, there we go. There's loads of missing people signs up now. We got, have you seen this puffer fish? And we've got, have you seen this old man? I've had really bad luck this episode. I'm not gonna lie, really bad luck. My old man's gone missing. My puffer fish has gone missing. We've made a new friend in Cod's wallet, but I almost lost him as well. We made some pretty decent progress on the base, but we also lost a skeleton horse. We got pranked, but we ended up with loads of resources. We've put Ren on our list. Wink, wink. But eh, I'd say all in all, things are going pretty well, apart from losing the things that I love the most. <laughs> oh, good. He's still here. Whew. Okay, well, I think that's it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!